Okay guys, welcome to my channel. I have a Vlogmas special for you. Stop! Um, we are going to do a Q&A with my husband. And so, um, don't be too crazy. I am being me. Just do your thing. So, She's always trying to change me. Here is the first question. What is your favorite Christmas movie? The Grinch, the new one with Jim Carrey. And no, Die Hard is not a real Christmas movie. I don't care who watches this. I don't care if it's around Christmas. That is not a Christmas movie. I just needed to say that. Do you know a line from your favorite Christmas movie? Mm-hmm. My heart is two times smaller. And this time, I'll keep it off. <laughs> okay, what was the best childhood Christmas gift you ever received? Ooh, there's two. There's two. The first one is the Millennial Falcon when I was a kid. It's, you know, Star Wars. I got the original for all you jelly people. And the second one was I got the, the carrier for G.I. Joe. It was seven foot long, and it took me all day to put it together. I took that thing together and apart at least 12 times. That was my favorite gifts. My daddy got them for me. Okay, when did you stop believing in Santa? What age did you stop believing in Santa? Santa's not real? <laughs> uh, I think I was 13. Yes, I know it was late. 13? But obviously at 13. Yep, I wanted you to believe. In Santa and the only reason I didn't believe is I found my gifts one day because my brother was sneaking into a room. Mom, you're going to find this out. I, I can remember, like, thinking, I don't know. Like, I can remember starting to kind of question it. And we would always sleep in the front room, and Mom would always do our stockings on Christmas Eve, and we would sleep in the in the front room on Christmas Eve. I don't know why we did, but we did. All three of us kids would sleep in the highway bed. And I, one night, I wasn't asleep when she came in, and I was like, I saw her put the stuff in the stocking, like I would peek, and then I would lay real still and close my eyes until she went to bed. And then I got up and looked in the stockings, just looked, and then went back to bed. Oh, that's bad. Um, okay, use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. Normally or this year? I guess right now. Bah humbug. <laughs> you are not a bah humbug. Because my daughter's not here. Um, I'm excited for my son. I don't have one noise. Sorry. <laughs> okay, as a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished was for you? Did one of your brothers ever I get something Yambari that you really got, wish you Not got. Seth, because Seth was too young, because he's seven years younger than me. But Jan, yeah, but I can't remember what it was. He got something, and I really wanted it. And my mom and dad got it for him, and it was cool. But I couldn't rem I can't remember what it was. I remember, too. I was probably eight or nine years old. And he Did got it because... I don't remember what it was, but he got it because he was older. I'm more mature. He's an idiot. So, I mean, I should have gotten it, and not him. Okay. Sing a line from your favorite Christmas song. Do you really want me to sing? <laughs> yeah. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, but not here in South Georgia because it's never cold. <laughs> okay. Rename a reindeer. <laughs> if you were asked to rename a reindeer, what I'm would you thinking. name it? Just name one or pick the one I'd a rename. A reindeer. Mm. Rename a reindeer. That's a dumb question. <laughs> hmm. Wait, um. Hmm. You're not as you're not as good as you thought you were. You're not that creative. What's well, a dumb mm -hmm. question? You have no imagination anymore. I do have an imagination. You have no imagination anymore. You're old now. If it was a reindeer that that was like my wife. I'd call it the Naginator. The Naginator. That would be my dear name. The Nag, because my wife nags constantly. Nag, 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 nag. Naginator doesn't sound like a reindeer name to me. Okay, when do you start? What month of the year do you start getting excited for Christmas? July. Seriously. <laughs> and when then do you I then I settle it music? down. Well, I listen in July. I find Christmas music in July, and then I take a hiatus to October, but way before way before Halloween. Like I don't know, October first. 
play all the way through. Let it go for we Halloween. Usually do start playing Christmas music except like November, late, Hall- late, late December. October. I love Christmas music. Love it. Josh Grogan on Pandora is the best. Okay, so what is your favorite Christmas tradition? As a child, what is your favorite Christmas tradition as an adult? As a child, my favorite Christmas tradition was waking up in the morning because my dad and mom didn't have a lot of money being in the military. I didn't know that as a kid. But they'd work extra jobs. But on Christmas morning, we didn't get nothing all year long except our birthday. But on Christmas morning, I don't know how they did it, but we had... 30, 35 gifts, literally, under the tree. They're piled out. That's my favorite memory as a kid and my watching my dad because now that I look back at it, he was half asleep and so was my mom. He had to have coffee because they just went to bed, got done rapping. It was so, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, what was the question again? Then, like, as an adult well, and my our favorite family, memory? what is your favorite tradition? I mean, we don't really have a lot of traditions, I guess. Do we have any traditions? No, because it was just me and you for so long. I mean, we just when really Chelsea traveling when Chelsea tradition. came travel along, around. traveling's probably our biggest tradition. I wish it would stop sometimes. Although I do love seeing my family at Christmas. I oh, probably uh, always will, honestly, because we don't it, live next to our family. It's families, just, so. it's just Christmas for us is busy as we're adults. Uh, but I think my favorite thing is opening gifts on Christmas morning when uh, Chelsea opened her stuff, and just having that time together. But she always messed it up because she she get mad. We couldn't even put the stuff under the tree because she get angry about the gifts. I mean, like I'm not making that up. She got mad. Uh, but I guess I guess it's just being with family is is the tradition and decor. Oh, decorating the tree too. You know, because we have so many. Uh, you saw the ornaments on the tree, uh, but we have so many family ornaments. It's getting to look at them again. That's probably one of my favorite things to do. Okay, last two questions: real or fake tree? Do you like real or fake trees? You, not what your family wants, because you know we're divided on that. I know, I'm thinking. Do you? Would you prefer a real tree or a fake tree? Don't really care. I like real trees because of the smell and the way they fall out is nice. But I like fake trees, especially the one Lynette got this year because it looks real. So I'd probably say if I had a choice, probably a real tree. I just don't like setting it up and don't like cleaning up the pine cones. Fake tree. Fake, fake tree. tree. Okay, pictures with Santa, yay or nay? Me? Did I get... Overall... Pictures Should of Santa. People? Oh, absolutely. Especially if you a get fan a good of one. Pictures of Santa? I'm a big fan of Christmas pictures of Santa. Matter of fact, if I get somebody to let me put my fat butt on their knee this year, I'd do it again. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye y'all.